Infosys has emerged as a contender to build and launch a 1,500 crore rupees Earth observation satellite constellation project. Assam Chief Minister has said that Indian fighter jets will soon be able to land on the state's national highways. The renewal of a 10-year defense framework was discussed during talks between the commander of the US Indo-Pacific Command and India's top military brass. Indian Navy chief has said that Chinese vessels have been involved in activities that are prohibited in the region, and the Navy has communicated to them that their actions are unacceptable. A delegation of Armenian Army Spetsnaz met with Indian Army's 50th Parachute Brigade to discuss joint tactics and training in India. The first F-404 engine is currently undergoing its final round of rigorous checks at the General Electric facility in the United States, that will be delivered in April. Defense Acquisition Council has granted acceptance of necessity for 250 additional BrahMos cruise missiles for the Indian Army and Indian Air Force worth 20,000 crore rupees, and the deal for 156 Prachand helicopters will also be signed soon. Hindustan Aeronautics has issued a request for information for a 95 to 100 kilonewton jet engine for the HLFT-42 trainer. After the successful export of Spartan S to Armenia, Bangalore-based Tunbo Imaging has launched Spartan a standalone thermal weapon site that features an integrated long-range finder. The Indian Navy will soon issue a request for information to kickstart the process to procure dedicated aerial refuelers for its expanding fighter jets fleet and future your deck based unmanned combat aerial vehicle Godrej Aerospace has expressed a strong desire to join the gas turbine research establishment in developing a fifth generation fighter jet engine for the AMCA program business head of Godrej Aerospace has said that the company has already manufactured critical modules for the dry cavalry engine and supplied critical components like turbine blades compressor discs and combustor modules mastering high temperature alloys like nickel based super alloys advanced welding and heat treatments that are directly transferable to a fifth generation jet engine requiring 130 kilonewton thrust for the AMCA Mark II the Aeronautical Development Establishment has initiated acquiring critical systems for the first full-scale Gartaku CAF prototype, and is also acquiring subsystems such as avionics flight control systems and stealth enhancing materials. The Gartak will share technological overlaps with the AMCA, but the program's full momentum hinges on government funding which is yet to be sanctioned. Latest reports indicate that the funding proposal will be presented to the Cabinet Committee on Security by mid-2025. Hindustan Aeronautics and the DRDO are in discussions with the Indian Air Force to develop a next-generation helmet-mounted display system tailored for pilots of the AMCA fifth-generation stealth fighter. It will integrate vast amounts of flight tactical and sensor data that will reduce pilot workload and enhance decision-making in high-pressure combat scenarios. It will support off-bore sight missile engagements and precision-guided munitions, leveraging head-tracking technology to align weapons with the pilot's line of sight, which is crucial for AMCA's role in air superiority and deep strike missions. Today's Top 3 Comments Oh, my God.